Hi, my name is Mike Tetterton. I'm the owner of Crib Lodging Solutions. After we got started in the company, a couple of years had gone by, we decided it was time to look at putting our mission, vision, values uh, to words and using them as a guiding light to everything we do. That was a very tough mission for us and I had to really dig deep into why do I do what I do? Why do I open companies? Why do I take the risk and put my family at risk? Well, after several months of trying to come up with the answer, we finally came to the answer and it was, I do what I do because I saw the stove get delivered. Now most of the people in the company have heard about the stove story and uh, why we do what we do. And the stove story is, is kind of a story about random acts of kindness. While I was growing up in rural North Carolina, I witnessed my parents doing random acts of kindness all through my life. And as it would be, uh, we, this particular random act of kindness that we tie the stove story to came one Christmas. My mother worked for the school system and she, her job was to find where kids came to school and they were not properly being cared for. So she would match up the needs of the family with what she could find and get provided for them. Well, we found a family one Christmas when I was about 12 years old that lived way out in the country. And what we did after our normal Christmas, about 12 or one o'clock in the afternoon, we loaded up the truck, filled it with firewood, and bought a heater. Joanne put, uh, got the food and clothes and blankets together and uh, we, we started out there. All of us, there were five of us in the cab of that truck. When we got there, we opened the door and Arlene was in there in bed with all the clothes and covers she had. Still freezing to death. We uh, took the old stove out that had a hole there, put a new stove in there, filled the fire. Soon we had uh, sparks running out the, flying out the top of the chimney. Probably burned the house down instead of sleeping in the snow. So bad. And uh, Joanne and the children got the blankets and food and we come home and about a year after that uh, Arlene got a job pretty soon after we took the food there and about a year after that she came to our house to thank us for what we did called, called us angels and uh, she said us children were doing fine in school and after watching that kind of thing all through my life, it's kind of built into my DNA. That's why we do what we do. That's why we do at Creative Lodging what we do. So I'm going to ask you to join me. Don't just be an employee or a member of the team that punches in and punches out and goes home. We want to make a difference to people. So we're going to set aside part of our profits every year. We can give you a chance to contribute if you want to. Maybe you just want to help go buy stuff when we go buy it or help pick stuff out or deliver it. But I'm going to invite you to help make a difference because I don't want to be a standard company. Makes a profit and everybody goes home. I'd like to make a difference. Thanks.